And as we know, Hurricane Sally left a lot of damage behind, but it wasn't just people affected by that storm's fury. A lot of honeybees were displaced and the clock is ticking on their survival. Our meteorologist Matt Barentine with this story. My neighbor here, he knocked on my door yesterday evening after I got home from work and he told me that there was something I need to look at. What David Justice had to look at was a swarm of honeybees. They had taken up residence on a fallen tree in his backyard in Foley. There's a lot of damage in those woods behind us. They had a hive that got destroyed by the, by the, by the hurricane and they relocated and this is where they ended up. It's a storm. Like most storm victims, these bees lost everything. In steps Brandon Hargraves, a professional beekeeper, to save them. So during these hurricanes that come through, the wild population is typically devastated. Right. Especially this time of year, they don't have time to rebound. So I, I probably saved probably, I'd say, eight or nine from calls. Uh, since the storm? Since the storm. Bees spend the spring and early summer putting away honey for the lean times later in the year. That's now. So these bees, without help, likely wouldn't make it. The honeybees only have about two weeks of work left. And then they'll perish because they don't have the infrastructure built. They don't have the nectar. Um, and with the hurricane that came through, there's a lot of hives that are forced out. Trees fell down. They can't use what's there. And so these bees would die. To collect a wild swarm like this one, Hargraves captures the queen and puts her in a cage. There she is. Hargraves then puts the queen in a new hive with honeycomb from other hives to provide food. The bee's instinct takes over and they settle in and get to work. I'll go into my other hives and give them full frames of honey, 10, 12 pounds of honey. Um, and therefore the queen can turn on her laying when there's enough honey there. So without that, the system shuts down. It's a small thing to save one hive of honeybees, but it's one little part of getting things back to normal after Sally. And they're very beneficial insects and there was no way I was gonna have them exterminated. They'll all be in here by, by tonight. In Foley, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News.